Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now today I wanted to focus on some of the treatment options we have to manage arteries that have stents that have blocked or re-narrowed. Now we've had several stent videos talking a bit about what these devices are, what they are used for, and some of the complications. These stents, just to recap, are metallic devices that act like a spring to open up a blocked or diseased artery that is blocked because of plaque buildup or clot in the case of a heart attack. Well, there is a small but significant risk of these stents over time re-narrowing or blocking off. Now the symptoms of blocked stents will probably be the same as what you had prior to when the stent went in and that is angina or chest tightness or pressure in the chest which might go down the arm up into the jaw. You might get breathless when you're pushing yourself up a hill, up an incline and the symptom is known as angina. Now when this happens and you end up having tests that lead to an angiogram and that confirms that the previous stent you've had in has re-narrowed or re-stenosed, well then we have several treatment strategies open to us to help improve your symptoms. The first treatment that I want to focus on is medical therapy. Essentially not intervening any further, not putting any more stents, and that can be an appropriate strategy if your symptoms aren't that bad, if the artery that has the stent is relatively small, or the degree of blood flow that it supplies in the muscle is small, or if you've previously had a heart attack with some damage to that area of the heart muscle, well then the benefits of trying to open up a blocked stent in that case is marginal. So in that situation your doctor might elect to continue on with medications that might help improve the blood flow to your heart. You might be on medications such as beta blockers or calcium channel blockers or nitrates and these medications act to open up the artery and can control symptoms rather than proceeding on with putting more devices, more stents into the artery. Of paramount importance of course it is to control the risk factors, control diabetes and that is one of the more common reasons why stents can re-narrow is when our sugars are excessively high. Cigarette smoking is also another risk factor. Nicotine and all the products in cigarettes are not friendly to stents and stents can build up tissue inside them and block off again. Controlling blood pressure is also important and staying on medication that you are prescribed. Obviously having a discussion with your cardiologist about which medications are appropriate in your setting. But that's an appropriate strategy in some patients that we might not elect to do a further procedure, we might just manage you with medications alone. A second treatment strategy that is open to us if we do find that the stent is re-narrowed or blocked off is to use specific types of balloons inside that old stent. And these balloons, the modern day ones, have a drug coating on them. So you might have heard of the acronym DCB or drug coated balloon. But these are very useful in some situations whereby we open up an old stent, we expand it with balloons, we open up the blood flow and then to reduce the risk of long-term re-narrowing again, we can use these drug-coated balloons that essentially have a drug coating on the outside. And when we stretch it inside the artery, this drug is released in the wall of the artery inside that old stent. And that drug helps to reduce the risk of that stent re-narrowing again. It actually relies on us being able to open up the artery in the first place. It can be quite challenging to open up stents that have become blocked over time, over many, many years in particular. But certainly when we do open them up using our wires and balloons, the drug coated balloon can be a useful way to help reduce the, the risk of re-narrowing into the future again, and also to minimize the need to put more stents in. So drug coated balloons 
can be useful for some individuals. A third approach to tackling this condition is once we've opened up the artery in the old stent, and we've been able to clear it out essentially with balloons, we can place another stent inside that one. Now that is more commonly performed in cases whereby you might have had the old types of stents or the old generation stents placed in the past, whether it be ones called bare metal stents, or if you've got the first generation of the drug eluting stents with, with a particular drug coating on them, we can actually use a modern day stent inside that stent to help reduce the risk of that stent failing again. Now, there are pros and cons with this. Obviously, putting a stent inside means that we are slightly at a higher chance of keeping that artery open versus what it is with just the balloon, just the drug coated balloon. But it does mean putting more metal inside, which often you can imagine, we've got two layers of metal. We've got the old stent and we put another one inside, then you've got two layers of metal, and we know that there is a slightly higher risk of these stents failing again in the future. So of paramount importance, it's about controlling all the risk factors to minimize the risk of anything further developing inside that stent. Once we've put another stent in, well, of course, it's important to stay on those medications that we use to reduce blood clots, aspirin, clopidogrel, ticagrelor, and to control all your risk factors. But putting another stent inside can be an option for some individuals. Another treatment strategy might be we refer you for heart bypass surgery. Now, that's a big undertaking. However, trying to put more stents in or opening up these blocked stents can be fraught with danger in some situations, or you might have developed other blockages in other arteries that mean putting more stents in is not the ideal situation for you. In some situations, therefore, we will refer you for consideration of heart bypass surgery. And essentially, we don't need to tackle the old stent. The stent is not removed. So you know, a common question that I get asked is, can you take the old stents out? No, the stents stay in there. However, the cardiac surgeon will place a bypass conduit after the diseased stent to restore blood flow to that part of the heart muscle. So we know that patients with diabetes are a slightly higher risk of developing re-narrowing inside stents, and it may not be an appropriate strategy to put more stents in that case. We will consider referral for heart surgery. And that's an important consideration and discussion that you will have with your cardiologist, with the heart surgeon, with yourself and the family, of course, to make that decision as to what might be in your best long-term interests. But certainly bypass surgery is an option in some situations of stents becoming blocked. And finally, I wanna finish on a technique that really is more historical in nature, not often practiced now around the world. It's a technique that we used to use many decades ago to treat re-narrowed stents, and that is one called brachytherapy. Brachytherapy is a treatment that involves radiation, and used for many cancers, in fact, but this radiation delivered into the artery itself, inside the old stent, can be useful in some situations where tissue has developed and the stent has re-narrowed. We don't often use this technique nowadays, as I said, because there are other treatment strategies that are better and easier to perform with longer term results, but historically, you might have had this procedure many years ago called brachytherapy, and that was a technique where we delivered radiation treatment that reduces the risks of re-narrowing and can improve and restore blood flow to the stent and therefore to the artery. So hopefully you found this video useful. We've encompassed five treatments that are available to us when we're managing stents that are narrowed or blocked. Now, this is as distinct to a stent that becomes narrowed or blocked acutely in the setting of a heart attack. That is a medical emergency that does need us to go in and open up that artery, use balloons, use stents to restore blood flow, minimize the risk of long-term damage to your heart. We've been focusing on stents that become blocked over time, particularly over many, many years. We've gone through those five options. Hopefully you found that useful. 
Thanks again for all the support of the channel. Until the next video, bye for now.